I'm Mike Rhodes with Air Tractor. Today we're going to walk through the steps of how to dynamically balance a propeller. It's important to have a balanced propeller because an unbalanced propeller has a detrimental effect on airframe components, electrical connections, and cockpit equipment. So let's okay. get started. A variety of dynamic balance equipment is available. Here at the Air Tractor factory, we use the Honeywell Vibrex 2000 Plus system. That system contains everything you need for the balance job. Okay, so the first step is installing the propeller balance equipment. That consists of an accelerometer mounted vertically and a laser detector that will measure the RPMs of the propeller and the clock position of the propeller. On the PT-6, the most convenient place for mounting this equipment is the forward upper propeller overspeed governor stud. And so we're gonna pick up that existing stud with this bracket. So I'm picking up the upper forward stud on the overspeed governor uh, with the accelerometer and the laser eye. As we tighten this up, it's important that the accelerometer be oriented parallel with the propeller disc. Um, since we're a tailwheel airplane, that's not necessarily parallel uh, with vertical, but it is parallel with the propeller disc so that we're measuring vibration in the up and down direction as the engine turns. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is run the cable harness, and it's important that we keep the harness from making contact with the hot exhaust stack. Uh, so I'll secure that harness with zip ties. The next step is to define 12 o'clock for propeller orientation. The next step is to install the reflective tape. The reflective tape is installed so that with any further rotation past 12 o'clock, the laser beam falls off of the reflective tape. There's a little blinking red light that indicates when the laser sees the reflective tape. Now that the cabling is secure, we're gonna move the airplane to a place where we can do safe engine ground runs. For our propeller balance ground runs, we're gonna park the airplane facing into the wind. We wanna be away from any trees or buildings uh, because we don't want any turbulence associated with those things. And we're gonna check and make sure that we don't have gravel or sand on the ramp underneath the propeller because we don't need any propeller erosion problems. After the first balance run, we've measured an imbalance of 0.37 ips at a clock position of 1216. So we're gonna build up a set of balance weights now to correct for that imbalance. So our system has calculated that we need 26.2 grams and we need to install that at 616 for a clock position. We have optional weight locations on the spinner back plate uh, every hour on the half hour. So we'll install our balance weights at 6.30 and we'll let the box know that that's where we've installed the weight. Okay, we just completed our second run for balance verification and I've got a .03 IPS imbalance which meets the criteria for a very good smooth propeller. Thanks for watching our propeller dynamic balance tutorial. For more information contact your air tractor dealer or log on to www.airtractor.com for more information. Fly safe.